Please, good guy. Hit. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. One, one, one. He ruled over a small village in the western hills of Japan. I have no news for old people in my village. He said, I will be. Hmm. That's sad. They are neither useful nor able to work for a living. Mm -hmm. I therefore decree that anyone over 71 has be banished from the village and left in the mountains to die. What? What a terrible decree. Yeah, what a very terrible. What a fine village of young, healthy, and hardworking people I have, he bragged. Soon it will be the finest village in all Japan. Now there live in the village a kind so, young farmer. Where can I put him in water? Please. Say, Mother, what Say, yes, go and do that. So the young guy run to the village and beg the people, I beg you, let's put the king in the water. Then the afternoon came, you know, because he wore it fresh. Now it was time to take it off. He couldn't take it off. It was, it became so tight on him. It's really before that he started feeling very uncomfortable. Very uncomfortable because his skin was now so tight on him. You know, because it was fresh. It was, uh, it was big on him. But as the sun wore and uh, the sun came up, we realized that the skin, the leather, that's how leather skin becomes smaller. Uh -huh, it shrinks. So that's what happened. So it, it was so tight on him. He couldn't breathe. They couldn't take it off because night has gotten to his skin. If you try to cut it, that means you are going to cut his skin as well. He was screaming, shouting. And they didn't know what to do. This that's why every a uh, home in Ghana, especially in Paris, there's always an Abri one. And you realize that Abri too, there's even there's always a small stool in the yes. palace. Even if nobody sits on it, that stool is there, representing the wisdom of Abri <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching the Fair Hilton Storytelling Diaries. My name is Guest. It's you.